Hickok 45 here. And you can read, it says, NRA announcement. Oh, what the heck does that mean? Do you have any idea, John? Uh, what's an announce? Announce, uh, I think it's an announcement. We're going to announce something. <laughs> okay. No, uh, seriously, we wanted to, to, to let you all know, because in light of recent events, last few weeks or month or two, so much has gone on with the NRA, and we don't know all the facts any more than anybody else really does. Some pretend to know, but you know nobody knows everything. But it's kind of gotten to a point where it's the last straw, especially today as we're recording that. We we decided that uh, we are just no longer going to be working in an official capacity with the NRA and asking you all to join. You know, working right. as in the membership drive. Right. We've decided that uh, yeah. we feel more comfortable, kind of you know, rooting for them. Uh, from the sidelines because we want a strong NRA. We want to yeah. see the NRA be a strong and powerful organization. Uh, but it's just, it's gotten to the to the point where we can't feel yeah. totally comfortable asking you guys to join in yeah. every video. But we're going to continue to be yeah, members. Yeah, we, we want a strong NRA. Uh, you know, that's a good way to put it. We're still rooting from the sidelines. We need a strong NRA. We want a strong NRA and everything. But, yeah, it's just gotten so controversial and things happening uh, right and left. And, you know, so right. it's hard to, you know, like you said yeah. earlier, we don't know exactly what's going on. We yeah. hope for the best. We, you know, we want to give them the mm -hmm. benefit of the doubt. Just there's been so much stuff lately. It's hard to continue to do that. Yeah. And it's hard, you know, working with them in an official capacity where it's really not our place to get into that or talk about that. Yeah. And we don't want to seem oblivious to it because we, we've seen what's going on. Yeah, we're, yeah. we've never been oblivious. It's no. just, uh, you know, as I've said many times for years and years, there's, there's no perfect organization. And uh, uh, a lot of people seem to think everything is perfect. I, it's not, right? And uh, But, you know, it's still it's just a little too much going on. Uh, hopefully a year from now we'll all be looking at this and like, wow, all oh, that was the best thing that could ever happen to the NRA. And now they are streamlined and they are getting things done. Yeah, but who right. knows? Yeah. So anyway, that, I just want to let you know uh, that, that we're not going to be, you know, plugging the NRA in any official capacity. And you'll see videos coming out for, gosh, a couple, three months or, you know, trickling out, you know, that have already been recorded. But as of today that we're recording right. this, you know, that won't that won't happen. Right. And, yeah. and, and also a big part of this video is we want you to know that it doesn't mean that we hate the NRA or they yeah. screwed us over, or, you know, or, there's, or bad, there's bad blood or. You know, it's, oh, yeah. it's it's nothing it's nothing like that at, at all. all. Everybody we dealt with, uh, you know, right. it's been very cooperative yeah, and supportive, absolutely. and love what what we do, and and the rest of the folks that do YouTube videos, firearms videos. You know, it's just it's, right. It's just that yeah. you know, strictly we don't want to uh, officially attach our brand and our yeah. legacy and everything what we are to them as an organization yeah. right now, but. Like we said, we're still rooting for them. We want a strong NRA. I want to see them do well because it's important to, uh, I think, to further our rights. Yeah, so. exactly. And as you know already, we're not affected by what else goes on in social media very much. We've always kind of done our own thing and we'll continue to do that. We're not influenced by other, you know, whatever, anybody out there really and uh, pay very little attention to it, to tell you the truth. So it's just John and I have been talking the last few weeks and, uh, and, you know, rolling this around and, uh, you know, again, we don't know every, all the facts, but it's just, it's just time for us to, to bail out for a while, you know, or permanently probably, you know, <laughs> so, uh, anything else, John? No, I guess that kind of, kind of covers it, you know, yeah. like we'll try to answer questions and stuff, but again, you know, yeah. people assume that we're like these big NRA insiders because of the, the work that we do with them, but, nah. you know, we don't really know anything more than anybody else knows to, to be honest they haven't really told yeah. us much about what's going on and you know that's a little bit of of the problem um you know we, we just don't have enough information you yeah. know and there's and there's too much stuff that's starting to pop up and and real credible mainstream news sources um mm -hmm. you know we, we just don't know we don't know enough uh, yeah. and uh that's it's unfortunate and like i said i, you know, I can't say it enough I, i'm rooting for them i want oh, them yeah. I want them to be strong. If if that means that they just need to fix a few things, or that means they need to completely clean house, again, I don't know how bad it is. So I don't mm -hmm. know how much has to change. Yeah. I just hope that whatever it ends up being good at, at some point. Yeah, so do I. And we just need to, to make sure that we are, as we've always advised, you know, make sure you're in touch with your representatives, you're voting, 
and you're talking to people, you're representing the firearms community in a responsible way. Right. I mean, that is a, a common theme around here. And, you know, we all know there are people who don't. But uh, we try to do that, and, and, and most of you, uh, almost all of you, try to do the same thing. And, yeah. you know, you, you're active politically, and we don't get into party politics, but, you know, make sure you're voting and you're in contact with the people who make the difference, the difference makers, you know. Right. And if we're not doing that, it doesn't matter whether we have gun rights organizations or not. You know, right. get right and, down to it. So. And it's important to remember, if you own guns and people know that you own guns, you are representing, whether you like it or not, you are representing yeah. every other gun owner. So sure it's are. really important to think about what you say and how you... Um, Especially publicly, what right. you write and say and videos you post or anything, you know. Right. And so anyway, just thought we'd let you all know and, uh, you know, you know, so it's not some big deep dark conspiracy or secret. Or oh, something. there will be. There will oh, be conspiracies. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I might funny. write it for you just for fun. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to start a troll channel. We should, start. yeah. Just troll ourselves. Yeah, that'd be troll fun. Troll ourselves. Hey, we could, I know the real reason. Yeah. yeah, we could come up with better trolls than the trolls, I think. Yeah, you got a call from such and such or somebody in the NRA or you got threatened. Yeah. or the, I, heard, I heard it was the aliens. That's what I was yeah. told. Yeah, probably so. So, so anyway, you know, you know us. We uh, we find humor in everything. It's not a funny situation, I guess. We we want a strong NRA, but we we just uh, you know for I guess a few weeks. It's especially you know when we're we're given the plug for the NRA. It's just it's just harder to to end at that. You always want to say something else more than I really should say to qualify it. And you know that's just not our place. We're trying to you know if we're trying to drive membership and right. and all that. Sorry, but again, you will see videos. You know trickle out because we have you know, 15 or 20 videos in the can uh, but just want to let you know you'll, you'll know whether it's a newer video or not right and you know one of, of course good thing well, we will feel like we can speak totally freely about yeah. about the NRA, NRA going forward I mean it's not like we were you know holding back anything before we wouldn't have worked with them or continued working with them if we didn't mm -hmm. believe in them to a certain extent but but now right. we can definitely say what we want and, and speak our mind and yeah. and uh, and you won't hear a lot different, maybe. He just won't hear us trying to get you to join, maybe. Right. Uh, and I've always been a kind of a, a, a loyal, I'm old school, I guess. If Whoever I'm working for, whatever company it is, or whatever it is, you know, I, I've always felt obligated to uh, to be professional, you know, about that. A lot of people aren't these days. Right. But, you know, so, uh, no, and we, I mean, we can speak a little more freely now. Uh, and not that we'll say anything differently, but you know, when when you are you're working for a company, not that we're working for the NRA or somebody supporting you, it is a little different, and uh, you know, but yeah, it's more of a mutual thing of the two brands, yeah, but and respect and everything. Right. So, anyway, yeah. I grew up with the NRA, and I wanted to be strong. I'm not my membership card is staying in my wallet. I'm a benefactor member, and I'm happy to be a benefactor member. And I'm not right. going to you know, like cancel my membership if that's right. possible. You know, uh, I, I just want the NRA to get strong and uh, work things out. So right. We've talked too much, I guess. Yeah, probably. I, <laughs> and I, just, I don't know. Something that comes to mind is just like with any organization, whether it's a charity or whatever, it's your responsibility, mm -hmm. of course, to make sure that you're putting your money in mm -hmm. in the right place you know and what if if the nra ends up if it's as bad as uh as it's, they say it is it's it's kind of a, a mm -hmm. case of giving them maybe too much benefit of the doubt because there's such a long um history there yeah, you know? and yeah. If, if we made a mistake maybe that's what it was but yeah. um, i feel like we're making the right move you know by uh, going a different direction in this way and again like yeah. rooting for, for them from the sidelines versus using our brand to to prop yeah. up a, uh, a drive for members. Yeah, and, and you know, again, we're not, we just don't know. We're, we're like a lot of you, uh, those of you who are honest, you just don't know enough to, 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 to be really adamant about one way or the other, you know? And, and if, we, if, if we have doubt, then we shouldn't be asking you to join, I guess. You know, right. Come, come down. To Absolutely. It. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, if that made any sense, and uh, we'll be out here doing some, we just did some shooting and yeah, uh, we're good. gonna do some more because mainly we do shooting videos if you haven't noticed, okay? And uh, we try not to rant too much at you. We want you to stay in touch with your representatives, get into that voting booth and you know, with the election coming up before you know it, it is going to heat up. So it's up to you and me and everybody else to, uh, to, to play our usual part, our usual role. We just sit on the couch Again, it doesn't matter who the gun rights organizations are and what they're doing. You know, we've got to, got to do our part. So we'll shut up. How's that? Let's do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
glad y'all came out this evening and uh, life is good. Thank you.